He grew up and had a decent but injury-riddled career at East Rich High School, played two seasons of basketball in the MIAC. Then Al Nunes connected him with his son Jarrett, an assistant coach at Baylor University, and they allowed Freddie Gillespie to walk on. Now he's working out for a shot in the NBA. He grew up wanting to be a football player. Grew tall enough that basketball became his game at East Rich High School. He had some injuries. Was smart enough, he got into Carleton and played sparingly with two injury plague seasons as well. But he kept working. I mean, I put out a lot of work to, one, to look at from where I started and to, you know, where I'm at now. I mean, that alone is just, you know, for me, it's just huge steps and a lot of the things that I wanted to try and do. Um, but, you know, also, I mean, it feels good. I mean, you know, any times you, you try and work towards something, work towards a goal, and um, it starts to develop, it starts to become a reality. Uh, that's always exciting. Got a chance to walk on at Baylor because of a connection to assistant coach Jared Nunes from his father in Minnesota, then realized he could play at the end of his redshirt season with the big boys. I, I can do this and really believed it and really felt and really started to see the um, dream come to fruition. Van Dude, Gillespie. Got it! And one! Then he flourished. His team went to number one in the country. He did everything but get to play in the NCAA tournament this season. We put a lot of passion and time and effort into um, trying to get to that to you know the number one seed in the country or number one team in the country and also to get that number one seed in the tournament. Um, so it feels a bit incomplete, um, you know, to put that much time and not get the opportunity to even um, try and be successful or trying in that championship, uh, it was it was devastating. But his basketball is not done. He's been forced to train for his next opportunity. He hopes the NBA mainly by himself. You can always, you know, just stay in shape. You know, I mean, there's no, there's, there's no citywide ban on running or conditioning and staying in shape. Um, so, you know, we have a couple of weights here that we got from the weight room before I closed down, so I've, I've, I've been using that. You have, though, by all accounts, no matter the fact that you didn't play in the NCAA tournament aside, lived the American dream. It has been. I think, mean, you know, I think I was inspired by a lot of stories that came before me um, and a lot of stories that I've heard. So, you know, and then I try to put the things that I heard other people put to practice and put those same principles. And, you know, I hope that my story inspires others and does the same for, you know, the next person that come, that's coming behind me.